Inland Taipan, deadliest snake. What comes to your mind when we say the deadliest snake in the world? Anyone who comes face to face with this venomous killer might as well say their prayers. Meet Australia's Inland Taipan, a creature straight out of our worst nightmares. Stick around to find out all about this slithering monster and how it can take down anyone within a few minutes. The Earth is home to over 3,000 different types of snakes. 600 of these species are venomous, with 7% of them being deadly enough to kill a person. Now, there are venomous snakes all around the world. Well, except for Antarctica. These include names you might have heard before, like coral snakes, copperheads, water moccasins, and rattlesnakes. But what sets them apart? And most importantly, which of these is the deadliest? Drum roll, please. Oxyuranus, Microlepidotus, often known as the inland or western taipan, is the most venomous snake in the entire world. This snake, which is native to Australia, possesses the most deadly venom, capable of killing within minutes of attack. Don't believe what they say when they call inland taipans a shy breed? Nicknamed Fear Snake, the inland taipan is thought to be quiet, but if provoked, it strikes out like no other. When they attack, they take multiple quick bites, the effects of which include paralysis, vomiting, headaches, and nausea. A spreading factor is also present in the venom of inland taipans, which makes it easier for the body of the victim to absorb the toxins. Everything works in the snake's favor. Speaking of toxins, taipoxin in their venom is what includes hemorrhage and impairs breathing. Its bite can kill a person in less than an hour and is fatal in more than 80% of untreated cases. This is exactly the reason why the inland taipan is without a doubt the deadliest animal on the planet and the most poisonous snake for humans. Thing is, they're very rarely spotted because they live in semi-arid environments. With its calm demeanor, it likes to avoid conflict, but if mistreated, provoked, or prevented from fleeing, it'll not only defend itself, but also end up winning. The good news is, there's a warning sign. It does this maneuver by tightening the curvature of its forebody and turning its head toward the danger, resembling the letter S, indicating that if the warning is disregarded, it will strike. Beware. This kind of snake is very swift and nimble, and it can strike quickly and precisely. In fact, it launches many strikes in a single attack, an attack that never misses. The inland taipan developed as a mammal hunter, unlike most other snake species, so its venom is made to kill warm-blooded prey like us. The greatest production from a single inland taipan bite has been measured at 110 milligrams, and the venom is so poisonous that even one bite can kill at least 100 adult humans or 250,000 mice. The time it takes for someone to die from a bite, depending on a number of conditions, might be as little as 30 to 45 minutes. Its venom is approximately 50 times more poisonous than the venom of a king cobra. If that's not terrifying, we don't know what is. So how can you tell if you're face to face with one? The species was first identified in the late 1800s, but for the following 90 years, little was known about it. In fact, nothing new was learned about it until it was found again in 1972. The inland taipan typically grows to a length of 6 feet, although larger ones can exceed 8 feet in length. Their color is a dark tan that can change from a rich, dark shade to a brownish light green depending on the season. Different hues of brown and gray may be seen on the back, sides, or tail, and many of the scales have a blackish border. Their body is lighter than their head and neck. Oh and they have a very distinctive rectangular head. The ferocious snake adjusts to its surroundings by changing its skin color as the seasons change. During the summer, they tend to get brighter, and during the winter, they tend to get darker. Now, they prey mostly on small to medium-sized mammals, including birds and rodents like the long-haired rat, plains rat, you name it. They love a good rat. All it takes is a series of quick, accurate bites, unlike many other venomous snake species that strike with a single bite and then flee while waiting for their prey to die. By holding its prey, it can administer up to eight deadly bites in a single attack, deeply injecting the highly toxic venom into the victim before the victim has a chance to defend itself. Ah, talk about being a cold-blooded murderer. If you're wondering where to steer clear of, let us tell you exactly where this slithering death machine lives. The thick crackling clays and crackling loams of the floodplains are where inland taipans are most often seen. However, they also venture onto surrounding plains, dunes, and rocky outcrops if cover is available. The snake finds refuge in holes and mammal burrows, as well as in soil cracks and crevices. 
They can be found in the channel country of northeastern South Australia and southwestern Queensland in particular. Their activity is predominantly, if not entirely, diurnal, which means that the first half of the morning is when they are most active, temporarily soaking up the sun or foraging in or close to deep dirt crevices and animal burrows before retreating to cover for the remainder of the day. But the snakes are seen to be active in the afternoon in cooler temperatures too. So if we were you, we'd not even attempt to go near their dwellings. Their venom is just too powerful. And if you're not given anti-venom within minutes, there's a pretty good chance of death. Now, you must have heard how serious snakes feel about fighting, mostly amongst themselves. Which makes us think, if you put two of the deadliest snakes in a fight, who would be the reigning champion? The two main reasons why snakes fight each other are quite simple. If we're being honest, male snakes of the same species occasionally engage in combat with one another during the breeding season, while impressing the ladies is a poor justification for a battle. It appears to be effective for snakes. The other reason is slightly morbid. Sometimes snakes can be picky eaters, and nothing satiates their appetite like another snake. So if a fight between, say, inland taipan and a black mamba, who defeat the other? First off, they're both alpha snakes of Africa and Australia. They're the dominant force in their territory. And after they mature into adult snakes, few other species want to pick fights with them. We have solid evidence that Taipan venom is created specifically for deadly combats. So we're going to go ahead and crown them the winner between the two. Deadly a snake for a reason, after all. When the late Steve Irwin came upon an island Taipan in the wild, he knelt down and lured it near him before letting its tongue contact his face. Yup, that's because these snakes aren't out to kill people. They're just defensive. They only attack when they fear for their lives. Coming back to an inland taipan's bite, the high amount of venom that they're capable of injecting is one of the biggest factors contributing to its lethal potency. In fact, their venom is stronger than that of the black mamba and the king cobra. Now there's a good reason why you shouldn't be keeping this snake in captivity. A pet inland taipan bit an Australian kid back in 2017, leaving him struggling for his life. The pet snake bit him as he was attempting to put it back into its cage. Thankfully, he was taken to the hospital right away and made it out alive after staying in critical condition for days. There's your lesson, folks. If this kind of snake bites anyone, they should get to the hospital as soon as possible. The exact duration will vary depending on the person and how much venom has been administered, but the first hour is quite crucial. After that, people can develop all sorts of serious injuries like hemorrhaging or stop breathing completely. The toxicity caused by the snake's bite can be treated with anti-venom, but the antidote must be delivered extremely quick. Even in that case, the patient would need a lot of medical help to recuperate from the attack. The anti-venom eliminates the poisons and stops further harm from occurring but it does not undo the harm that's already been done. Now that the inland taipan is legally protected, much like every other species of snake in Australia, but the IUCN Red List hasn't determined how well they're doing in terms of conservation. Depending on the locality, their conservation status ranges from least concerning to near threatened to extinct. But for all we know, this deadly monster is hiding under a crevice, waiting for its prey to unleash all kinds of hell.